sure. Well, one of my favorite appearances, uh, and it's like a weird kind of appearance, I guess, in your all's run with WWE was you guys were shown backstage in the Bret Hart documentary Wrestling with Shadows. And then I started poking around, and like you guys were in the opening match of Survivor Series 97. So I, I don't know. That was a pretty weird time. Uh, I didn't know if you guys wanted to take us back a little bit and talk a little about what, what the ad, the vibe was like backstage, you know, that, that kind of night. Well, I mean, for, for me, I didn't really catch anything beforehand because we kind of stayed away. Um, so as far as getting involved, we were more playing with Brett's kids than we were worried about anything that really was going on. And for me personally, I didn't really know. I knew there was a little bit of friction going on, but it wasn't something for me. I'm not a big gossiper. I wasn't into the gossip. So as far as like really knowing, I guess, what was going on, I don't know, call me clueless. Um, but I really, at that point, until everything kind of blew up, obviously I knew there was some friction there, but before everything really blew up, I didn't really know it was that bad. Yeah, for sure. Glenn, how about you? Do you have any memories of that the Montreal? Story? Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, it, pretty much the same. We kind of kept to ourselves, um, more, more or less. And um, it was just a fact of, you know, we were, when Vince was making his way back that way, we were kind of in the vicinity. So we kind of saw him walk in, walk out, and uh, yeah. But, you know, it was a, a normal day, I guess. We knew Brett was leaving. Um, but I, I mean, I, I think at that time, everybody pretty much knew he was leaving. Yeah. What was it? I mean, so, yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, Glenn. No, you're good. Oh, no, I was going to say, yeah, I mean, that's just such a wild time. I mean, you guys were one of the hottest tag teams at one of the hottest times in all of pro wrestling history. I mean, how was that? How was that ride for you there? You know, during that period? It, it was, it, it was weird. I mean, it, it was great for us because. We were just two kids from Jersey that didn't know any better. I, I mean, we we still, you know, both me and Chaz, we still lived in the same towns that we grew up in. So nothing really changed that much for us. I mean, we didn't, I guess you could say we didn't realize how big we actually were then. You know, until we talk to people like you, we hear from other people going, oh my God, you guys were, were such one of the highlights of the Attitude Era and this, that, and the other thing. We didn't, we didn't, I, I didn't really... I, I don't know. I, I guess, you know, I didn't see it the same way as, as everybody else is seeing it. I don't know about Chaz, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, does that resonate with you, Chaz, when he says it like that? I mean, because like for me again, like you guys were a huge part of that. And that's what's so kind of surprising to me is I don't feel like you guys really get embraced the same way other entities from the Attitude Era do by WWE when, when they go back and look at that period, you know? Don't get me started. <laughs> Why is don't that? Don't get me started. Why, I we mean, don't get any. We don't get any goddamn love. We are the most underrated tag team of all times. Everybody talks about finishers and shit. I'm gonna go on a rant right now. Go. Everybody goes on finishes and stuff like that. And, oh, the Doomsday Events is the best finisher. 3D is the best finisher. You know what's the best goddamn finisher? The stage dive. It takes more timing. It takes more accuracy than any other finish in the business. If Chaz is off just a hair, I'm going to sit on some guy's face. If I'm off just a hair, the guy's going to land on my lap. So there's nobody that can dispute or prove me wrong. Show me another finish in the wrestling business that's better than the Sage Dive. There's none. But we're always, when everybody always talks about great tag teams and everything else, you never ever hear anybody say anything about the headbangers it's bullshit it, it's total bullshit i disagree with it and i'm hot thanks well i, I mean and like <laughs> like you say i mean but you guys it sounds like we're really chill right i mean do you think it's just a because of the fact you guys are so go with the flowy that like i, I, I think so i think maybe if we you know did a couple of stents in rehab and we said no a couple of times or something like that we might <laughs> we might have went our careers might have went farther who knows i don't know okay. um you know, that's an ongoing joke. I'm just joking about the rehab thing. Okay, I didn't know. I didn't know. Rehab's for quitters. Well, well you know, we, yeah. but um, that's how I feel personally about the whole thing. That's why, you know, when people are like, oh, yeah, the headbangers, they remind me of the bushwhackers. I get a little offended about that. I don't think, you know, I don't see the headbangers as a ha-ha, Rudy Tooty kind of, you know, sideshow. You know, I, I think that we can get in there, and I think we still can to this day, go with the best tag teams out there.